let's start off with doing some maintenance on my Xterra, then move on to talking about what's coming up for my 911, and then I make my way up to the mountains for some fresh snow. All the way down, there's a slight change of plans. I'm going to pick up from our last episode and talk about the upcoming items that I mentioned which is updates on my 911 as well as maintenance on my Nissan Xterra. But before we do that, let's go and fill up my truck, get some boba and get some lunch. Before I pick up some boba, I'm going to do a little quick detour and get some cookies it's here at Costco. Alright, all my errands are done now, so let's go head home, eat some food and then do some maintenance on my Xterra. That was a really good lunch, but now it's time to take care of business. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and start working on my Xterra and changing the oil. I have Xterra parked this way because if you notice on my driveway there's a little slant this way and on this side is where the oil drain plug is at so having it slanted like this will help drain the oil better. These are the materials that I'm going to need for today's project. I have the container for all my old oil and then I'm going with Mobile One 5 weight 30 engine oil and I'm using a Fram ultra synthetic oil filter and then I might need a prying tool for the under panel so I have that just in case. And then I have a 14 millimeter socket to remove the six screws for the under panel. And then I have the 14 millimeter socket here for the oil drain plug. And then I also have gloves to protect my hands. One of the good things about changing the oil on my Xterra is that it's raised pretty high. So I don't need to use any of my jack stands or my hydraulic jacks to raise my truck. So I could just go underneath it and drain my oil and replace the oil filter. Before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the oil filler cap. That way the oil will drain a lot more freely. Here's my oil drain plug, which is on the left side of the oil pan, which makes it a lot easier for it to drain with my driveway slanted a little bit. With the under panel removed, it makes getting access to the oil filter a lot easier. Because my oil temperatures are still pretty high, draining the oil is a much easier task. Surprisingly, the engine only takes about three and a half quarts of oil. So I marked the container that way I could easily gauge how much oil I'm putting in my truck. Before I put the new oil filter on, I make sure that the rim of the housing is clean. I reseal the oil drain plug, and now that the new oil filter is on, I'm ready to put in the new oil. This job ended up being really simple. Not even a single drop of oil hit the floor. I just finished filling up the fresh new oil. The brake fluid levels are good. The power steering levels are good. The coolant levels are good. Even my wiper fluids are good. So we're all set. That was a lot easier than I anticipated. I didn't even have to raise my truck up to get underneath and get the oil filter and drain plug out. What I also noticed too is my Xterra is the oldest vehicle I have at home and it doesn't have a maintenance light that goes off every X amount of miles. So that saved me some time having to reset that light. The next topic is what's coming up for my 911. I don't have anything really major to upgrade on my 911. I do know that as far as maintenance, I do need to change the brake pads as well as the rotors. So what I was thinking of doing was upgrading my brakes to 350 millimeters. So that's something that's coming up. I do still have the wing that I bought several months ago. So I still need to test fit that and decide if I'm going to go ahead 
and use that or, or just stick with what I have right now. Now that my truck is all set, let's go ahead and take the family out to the mountains. I'm gonna take my family up to Forest Falls, which is only about 30 minutes away from where I live. And we're gonna check out some of the parks up there and hopefully we'll get a little bit of snow. We got a good amount of snow. Just got here up in Forest Falls and found a nice spot to do some sledding. I can hear a stream right behind me and so let's go ahead and check it out and see some water. Took a last minute detour coming down the hill. This area is called Morton Peak Trail. And I was originally planning on taking the family out here, but because it snowed a few days ago, we wanted to get some fresh powder. One of the cool things up here is the views. So I'm in pretty high elevation right now. And a lot of people use this place to go hiking. About halfway going up, I had to stop recording because the road was getting a little bit more aggressive, a lot more steeper, a lot more rocks. So I had to pause the recording. But once we're up here, everything is really nice and it was worth the trip up. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for joining and we'll see you on the next one.